can't see me here, so that's not good, is it? <clears throat> Put a camera on if you've got light. Action. Bam. There we go. We are good. Let's, uh... Don't know if this light here is the problem. If this lamp's the problem, I'll just take it out of the way. Yeah. Get the lamp out of the way. Okay. <clears throat> Let's go. <laughs> Sorry, it's Pro Evolution uh, Soccer. Or PES 2021. Newcastle United. This is the coach mode. And we are... This is a... <clears throat> episode 2. Let me just... Please, about an hour or so. Okay, put it there. And then there, pulls that. That there, put that like in there. And then save it. Share it. Could probably not be up. Maybe she's up, I don't know. We'll send it over to Zella as well. And she likes it, so just send that over. Do you want to join in? We're going. We're starting. I think I'll just keep this here for the live chat. Otherwise, we're going. Okay. Let's get first game up. I believe we have his Man City. Mm, don't know if Wilson's the answer, but gotta find out how good Wilson is. Good afternoon to uh, one and all. Like you, we are very much ready to go here. And looking forward to a game that has been the topic for universal conversation in this part of the world for much of the last few days. It's dry at the moment, but the forecasters have warned us of impending rain. There's no certainty about that, but uh, when it does come, it shouldn't affect the uh, dynamics of a match which has so much riding on it. This one of the great amphitheatres of the game. You are welcome to it and indeed to one of the grandest fixtures. We have already started here. It's, it's a good ball. Dogbia. It's a good start. Good ball. Vinicius Junior. Don't mess it up. Plays it out to the wing. The good ball into box. Oh, good tackle. Walker goes looking. Foden. Great Always move. Inevitable. Great work. Dealt with that really well. Let's see if I can move this camera across so I can fix the background of it. Forward quickly. Sterling. There we go. It's, it's just not great there. It seems it in a white. Great leap! Okay. That's 
espera. Don't know how good Wilson is up front. We'll see today. It's a good cross. That's a great cross. Oh, yes. Yeah, good play. Puts the right through ball now. Lucky. Also, so finish that off. Wilson should be finish that off. Good enough. And here's Sterling. I want to work out is why that guy is playing right back there. That's what the problem is, because that's not the formation. It's better. Zinchenko, Zinchenko plays it in. Done. Clear Get that formation right. Get people playing the formation Vinicius should be played. And it's Gaia. It's better football. Gaia. That's a good ball. If he whips it, crosses it. Ah. It was all about the quality of the delivery, and they come away with nothing. Yeah. Opportunity was there, though. Sterling. Don't know if Wilson's the man for the job, though. I, I don't believe in Wilson anyway. Go on, get on to that. Nicely controlled. Oh, the job there. Ball. To the left. See, see, they with the ball in now. Can he deliver? He can. Force some wide guard. We'll let the clock go. Let the clock go. Let the clock go. Lovely. Lovely. So second half. Third opportunities. Why are we playing for two? Back on the first 45 minutes. Well, this has proved a very frustrating day so far, especially for the strikers. Nothing has been created for them. I think the service has been extremely poor. Wilson's been extremely poor. It is still goalless. Can play down right hand side. This is can't play down right. Maxim can. Got no one left. Well, surely he's going to have to come down left for us. We've we got front. Don't Diego Costa. I wouldn't have put Diego Costa up front. Maybe I have to put Costa up front. That's Klein looking. That's Gaia looking, it's alright. Two salt. Dogby's looking great. Let's bring Longstaff on. Gotta do something, guys. Should've packed the team better. Big game for Mr. Costa. He hasn't done much recently. So, off we go once more. No score in the first half. Who's ready to go for it now? Good ball. Shola. Shola in the game. I don't see much of Shola. Great work, Shelby. Long staff. Long staff. Put it straight away, long staff. John Joe Shelby. It's a good play. It's a good play. Come on. Great tackle. Great tackle. Great work, great work there. Good into enemy great, great work we played here, man. Be nice and soft and controlled and moved the ball nicely around. Nice. If Williams should be brought that's what I'm wondering. Here it comes. Here's Gaia. Here's Gaia. Chance to play it in. Here's Gaia. Here's Gaia. Chooses to go back. Show me! Oh, I would have got him. Gaia might have to come off now. 
I'm thinking I'm going to take Guy off. Down at the left hand side, he might be. Okay, I see. Now it's time to bring Williams on if we can. And he made one change. Oh no, who took. Oh no. I can't bring Williams on. Oh well, never mind. Just have to make it count then. Come on, guys, we can get a goal from here. Goal! Oh my word! Longstaff was on that as well. Find that nice ball. Nice. And again. Come on, Costa. Oh, lucky. Not quite. Not quite serving the ball up to Costa. Stokes. De Bruyne. Stokes. Come on, right. come on, buddy, come on. You know Don't how to use it. Oh, he's too slow, too tired. Look, this can still go either way. It might be flowing one way, but there's still time for some ebb. They beat us just because we've got tired players. Make the tackles on, make the tackles on. Make the tackle. And it's Walker. A heavy Great tackle to Sart. World class tackle. You wonder if that's it now, but there may be one more opportunity, Peter, uh, for a late, late steal here. They won't be. Not today, won't be. Creativity is not great in midfield, and that's what we were lacking. Walker. Watch it. Good oh, stuff. Yeah, we'll take that. that is it. The referee has seen it. That's a good win. That's a good draw. If not for fans, then perhaps for coaches, satisfied by Great draw. Great draw. Good evening, everybody. For tuning in. I'm just drawn against Man City. Where are our chances? Um, I see we're fourth at the table. Yes, I did. But I don't want to talk about that. I'm here to do some gaming. This is a gaming session. Let's enjoy the gaming. If you want to know anything more about my boxing, go on the YouTube channel. There's plenty of videos on there on it. That's what the video's there for. I didn't only just box, I coached it as well. Uh, I was part of one of the people that set up the Frank Bruno Boxing Academy, if you really want to know. Worked with Julius Francis. Um, who else? Quite a few other guys as well. Uh, ben Doughty. My trainer trained Barry Jones, who was the former WBO super middleweight, super featherweight champion of the world. Good to see you live. Need a distraction. Mentally not in a good place tonight. Yeah. It's a bit like that, bro. We need that distractions. We need distractions. We really do need distractions. So. I'm here for a few hours to just enjoy. I'm here to at least 1am. I might just go through 1 o'clock, actually. So, yeah, distractions are necessary. I understand you, bro. I feel you. Uh, that's impressive. So, you're going to get... You're gonna end fifty in Newcastle fifty yeah, wait for a major trophy. Um definitely pro pro evolution soccer, without a doubt. Uh, <laughs> forget FIFA man, FIFA's a shot FIFA's shocking. Um Pro Evolution's a bit more realistic, I think. Um yeah, I can do it. I think we can get tr Newcastle trophy in the second season. If we do it the first season, we can do it in the first season. Because we're only four points off well five points off Liverpool and in this game that means nothing. I've I've won the title with ten points, and the guys that are coming into the club are going to make the difference for us. Oh, absolutely. Um, game plan. Um, yeah, like some things have to change in the side for us to win. So, like. 
watch this. Uh, for example, Vincentius Jr. has been a great striker for us. Diego Costa is a lazy bastard. He hasn't done anything for us. Absolutely nothing. Um, so if Vincentius can go here, he can play up front. He's good up front. Saint can go to the left. Which brings on the right-hand side the choice of Amor, he's a good player. See, those three are good. Shelby is playing to be games. Condovia, so I want to make some changes on this side next time we go out there. Also, Hendrick, Shirley, Wilson. Wilson's absolute garbage. He's absolute garbage. Honestly, he's garbage. I want to freshen the side up a bit. But Williams has been good. Ben Williams has been very. Oh, um, Brendan Williams has been excellent. He's been very good. Rate him highly. So left midfield. Okay, we'll go with this team today. Should beat Crystal Palace. Gameplay is better on here, but I like FIFA because everything is licensed in regards to kits, names of... Oh no, that's not a problem, Mitchell, because what you can do, and what I will do, is probably tomorrow I'm going to go on to my uh, PC, I'll download all the latest kits, and the thing you can do on this you can't do on FIFA, Welcome is that you can bring legends it into the game. Like, oh, uh, all, all the legends, like a Legends League. <laughs> Come on, guys. Almiron, I've missed him. But it is a Good play, Almiron. Into consideration. Plenty of other factors, of course. Principally, each side's concern for the strengths of the other. Come on, Chevy. Good ball into the box. Go! Go, go, go! Oh, come on. Come on. Hit that! Hit it! Hit it! You're playing around too much, man. Hit it! Hit it! Ah, he ain't scoring from there. This game is even better on PC, I understand. To come up with a better ball. Oh, that just required a bit more oomph to reach its target. I like the way we've started this game though. Williams. And helps go on, go on, buddy, go on, buddy. Keep the pressure on. Through through ball, through ball, through ball. Come on. Yes, nice. We can take that. Score. Oh! That's what we're talking about. We missed him. We should have had him in the City game. Come on, Newcastle. What a goal. Holds off well. Conduct his work there. Oh. That's a great goal. Look at Almiron. One touch. Bang. Goal. That's it. 1-0. Well done. Well done. Um, I think we might we can win the title in the first season. Actually, yeah, we can win the title in the first season. Work left in this one, Peter, before they can actually say that the job is over. What I've done, basically, what I'm going to do this season. Choncho Shelby. Go, 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 go! Amaron! Johnny Barnes! Well, we're going to be bringing Jovic, Jovic to... Uh, Newcastle for sure. Look at this ball. Good ball from Shelby. Into the box. Almiron's onside. Bang! Hold that. 2 0.
Newcastle have a couple of goals without reply. It's 2 0. No doubt as to who we need a third. We need now. a third, the boys. Is how many is coming. We need a third as these teams can come back into the game. Seems now to be all about width. Well, we Get on that. The personnel to create in wide areas, then on the counter. On the counter. Let it go again. Go. Go on. Oh, come on. Poor touch there. Okay, get it back. Through the middle again. Through the middle. That's it. Through the middle. That's it. Oh, okay, we're going wide. Through the middle. Good ball, Kondogbia. Almiron. Go on, Kondogbia. Go on, go on, go on. Oh. Hit, hit. Oh. Andros Townsend. Opener in his last match, a really good solo effort. They've got Almiron Mark now. Lascelles drives it forward. Just go down the left side instead. And it's played forward. What are you doing? Cahill tries a pass forward. Cahill. That's Spins Klein, he's forward. knackered. Played. Well done. Great first half, boys. Klein's got to be replaced. Which is a pain. Alright, Williams go to the left. Go to the right for me. He's better. I, on this game, Williams is better down the right than he's down the left. Um, okay, you're good. You're good. You're okay. Hmm. Yeah, you're all okay. You can go second half without me. I'm just making changes. As such. Here we go again then. It's being played forward. See now. Klein I've got on a free. Diego Costa I've got on a free. I've got three or four players on a free. Vinicius Junior. Crystal Palace, very impressive in their last outing and brilliantly orchestrated by the manager. Well, Peter, you just There's Williams with down the, the right. They were spot on and the timing of each were, were perfect too. That sort of decisive management is a winning formula. Go on, itself. Williams. Go on, Williams. Look at that ball. Hit it! Come on! I'll do better than that, mate. It's a beautiful ball from Williams into the box. This ball from Williams, look at him. He is more effective down the right than he is down the left. Even though he's a left back. I don't understand that. Yeah. Oh, Johnny Barnes at Newcastle. Now, he used to play for Newcastle, didn't he? Do you want to play John Barnes as a striker for Newcastle in the European Cup? The Europa Cup, something like that. UEFA Cup. Oh, that's funny. Barnes playing up front as a striker. Get on that. Nice. Newcastle's goalkeeper's pretty good, you know. I mean, he's very good. Right, you know what? Why are we playing this formation like this? One is the formation. Why are we keep switching formation all the time? Right. Since it's just joking. It's a joke. Switching to left, take him off, bring Wilson on. Now we're on, yeah, take him off. Actually, no, how's can dog be looking? Yeah, take the captain off, bring Longstaff on. I'm trying to keep him as fresh as possible because we don't have that many midfielders. Um, captain, can dog be There we go. Whenever you knock it off, guys. Why are we going up from? Why do you keep changing that formation all the time? Locks it in gently. Don't why keep changing formation. Dan, that's you. Are you pushes to get on the end of it? Riedervalt tried to play it through. What, see, yeah, the idea was right. The delivery wasn't. They can revisit that further. Let on. the ball go off, guys. Get us up going. Oh, 
good play. Unlucky. I don't know why we're playing that formation. I've no idea why we're playing that formation still. Look. It keeps for some reason going to formation to one. Keep like that, please. And Fans instructions. Don't change the formation. What's wrong with you guys? Don't change formation. I don't want the formation changed at all. Where is it to change formation? Ah, that's it. Support settings. No, the off. Do not change formation. Thank you. No need to. Make that tackle. Make that tackle. Make that tackle. For goodness sake, make that tackle. Let it, let it go off. Let it go off. Oh my god. No, it's for purpose. They don't want. <laughs> Subs on. Go on. Great ball from Williams. Go on. Go on. Go on. Boom. Black class the second half. Townsend. Now is this the final assault? No, 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 no. Close it off. Close it off. Get away. Well done. Well done. And there goes the whistle. Newcastle. Well done. Probably the better side. Nobody is arguing about the results. You got a bit of dirt on Klein. What's the dirt you got on Klein? Now, what happened to Klein anyway? No, he talks about him the same way. Third in the table, 27th. Look where Man United are. They can race up the table real quickly. This game is so much about momentum. I'm telling you. Burnley. What well I'm messy. Who else is going to get sold in the team? Nobody. Okay. Next game. Burnley. Got to be careful of Burnley. They're the sort of team that comes and causes problems. Want Diego Costa up front? I don't know about Diego Costa, man. He's let me down too many times. Since Maxim looks tired, so let's give uh, Hendrik. Uh, where's Al Almiron? Is he fit? Well, let's hope he's fit. Amor's not completely fit. Nope. It's Hendrix. Is he fit? If Hendrix fit, he plays. Yeah, if Hendrix is fit. Anybody who's not fit, I think we should drop. Matter of fact, Costa's not doing anything, so I'm going to give Jolieton, the uh, Brazilian, a chance and change his midfield as well. Risky, but I think we should change the, the midfield. Um, Longstaff in midfield. Let his brother Longstaff play in defence midfield. Can't change defence yet. And um, the other midfielder will be. No, dog be on rest. I need another midfielder. I'm going to try Harrington, the young guy. You use the young boy. I don't know if he'll be any good. Um, okay, Victor Moses is going to go on the bench for me. I need to rest players. If I don't rest them, what ends up happening is Williams is even tired. So let's bring Lewis in. Okay. Lewis to the left. This could be a, it could get end up being a disaster today. And Edlin to the right. Um, Astu can play guy up, take him out. Astu Clark, 55. I don't know if she play Clark or not. Let's see the defense. Well, if it's that bad, then I'll. There you go, put Shah there. You can't play, sorry mate. Um 
guess Diego Costa can sit on the bench. We've got Wilson, haven't we? We've got Wilson. We don't need Diego Costa as well. But Costa can take a break. Um, that craft guy on the bench. Set the back. Left. Right. Defence. Right back. And it's forward. Okay. And make sure that the tactics off. Do not switch to preset tactics. Have to change. You've got to rotate the players. You just don't have the players inside. Bad coat problem. I know you would say, couldn't say it without being liable. Well known fact in Liverpool. Club covered it up with back injury. Oh wow. Damn. That's not good. Well, good afternoon, everybody. It is a terrific Here's a little exclusive for you guys while you're sitting down listening tonight. It should provide some terrific entertainment. So let me just give this to you real quickly. Let me just pause this for you so you can hear this. So apparently, Christopher Lovejoy, apparently, the contract's been signed since November and Don King's already paid him. Right? When he came to England, he knew he was never going to fight Dave Allen. But he told everyone he was going to fight. Because he still had contract. He was in contract with Don King. And Don King told him before he left England that he was never going to fight in a, uh, before he left for England not to go to England. But he went and did it anyway. So this guy, Christopher Lovejoy, is lying. He's also told people he was sparring with. Um, oh, opportunity. Goal! Finally scores his first goal for us. He's been telling people that he's been he's been uh, sparring with uh, Luis Ortiz, but the sparring session never happened. And apparently, he's been looking terrible in sparring as well. Uh, apparently, that's what I saw. I hear. Great team score a goal finally for us. He was rated pretty highly at uh, uh, Chelsea at one point. Yeah, I've got Shirley on free as well. This guy's a free player as well. So Christopher Lovejoy's been doing a lot of lying. You could tell in interviews with a, rep with a reputable other channel that I won't name that he was full of BS. <laughs> <laughs> Dave Allen basically outed him, he's just saying, trying to get paid, and that he was worried for him. Well, yeah. So he's terrible, that's what, that's what I understand, his sparring's been terrible. But you know what? I just hope, for Stavern's sake, that he's in shape, and he can get rid of this guy in a couple of rounds, in a spectacular knockout, that'd be nice, do you understand? At least get him back on track. I mean, it would be nice just to see him in the mix. You know, Hello. making the effort of his career and um, getting in shape and going for it. You know what I mean? Something a little different, a different story to tell everybody. The same old Joshua Fury, Joshua Fury, or Dillian White. You know, but a different story. An older guy coming back. And even if it's for the it's goal, Charlotte. goal, goal. Even if it's for the fringe or the WBA regular Long title. Jimmy, you know and he's tr and he gives it his best shot. Goal, goal. Yeah. Oh my word! Pop that, pop that! Oh, what a goal! That is amazing! Longstaff! Shut up, look, deflection. That was a great goal. He lobbed the keeper. Look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this. Cahedas should have gone in. Book a shot. Holds it from outside. Oh, look at that shot. Oh. Well, that was the kick, that was defender's fault anyway. It's the defender's fault. That alone, I would have sacked the defender. Look at that. Look, look, look. Ball's gone in. Goes out. Goes to clear it. Takes a shot. What's the defender doing? Good. Defender's an idiot. Newcastle get themselves a two-goal cushion. That second goal is such a That's what I'm saying. effect on prospective moves. I mean, one team are under more pressure now to get the next goal and the other. But yeah, but still, do you know do you know what? Newcastle keep up this I I wouldn't say he was finished sort of after the, the second while of the fight. 
I will tell you now that you see there are things in boxing that we don't hear about we don't know about we that, that are kept behind closed doors and if we ever were to find that what was what we would probably you know it wouldn't it just wouldn't be a good look Thank you have to remember some of the things that are done are just not on the up Sport boxing is a dirty sport. Some of the stuff I've heard about certain fighters and certain things, you'd be surprised. Tonight, I'll tell you about a fight in a minute. Oh, shot! Right? If you, if any, of you can get to box rec. I was myself and Uncle Bashir were watching boxing tonight. He made me watch Aaron Pryor. Well, oh, that's nice. I wouldn't call him completely shot yet. I mean, look, look. if you look at the Joyce fight, I'm not making excuses. If you look at the Joyce fight, yes, he was grossly overweight. And I was there. Literally there. I was in his dressing room. I was in his hotel room. I was there. For, I did the ring walk with him. Do you know what I mean? I was there. I saw everything. And he was grossly overweight. I don't know why that was. Apart from contractual and managerial things. I don't like the fact he doesn't count the Joyce fight. Whether you like him or not, you have to defeat, take defeat into a special conclusive one. Yeah, he did look good in small spurts. But you ask yourself the question, and I'm not being a, a Stavern fanboy or anything like that because he wasn't in shape. I mean, that's not my fault. Do you know what I mean? You could ultimately you can only comment on what. It's you're presented with. I'm not his trainer. So I can't really comment on them things, you know. Or his or his conditioning. I, I can't complain on I can't I can't say anything about that, you know. Jolliton looks like he's knackered. I'll put Wilson on. Oh, I'm gonna bring Atsu on for him. Actually Victor Moses. Let Victor Moses go on the left hand side. Let Moses do some work. You know, but um what I will tell you is that when you when you're in a position you're not happy with, but ultimately you have to take it because if you don't take that, if you don't take that, then look, let me show you. Oh, that's a great move. Ah, uh, if you go back, you tell me if I'm talking rubbish or not. Yeah, if you go back and check the fight. Between Wilder Newcastle and Stavern, the second fight. Go back and check how Shola. that fight came about. Because if you remember... Shola. Goal! Goal! Go. This guy should be a goal, guys. There should be no excuses. Whip that ball. It's a Hit it! Goal! And it's there. And the Finally is scores a goal for us. Further. I want you to go and do your research. No and then space, I'll talk about that fight no that Bashir problem. and me were talking you about last night. Well, I think that defence there thought they were in good position and they had him where they wanted, yet somehow he's worked in good position, but well, it didn't seem on. It's really crafty business. Um, his trainer is uh, Rooney. Rooney? Is it Rooney? Ah! I can see the guy's face now. He was the Olympian. He was the super flyweight of 1976. He was the Olympian. Either flyweight or, or lightweight. Oh, now some movement on I remember him telling me he was sparring with um, Sugar Ray Leonard. Mooney! That's it, Charles Mooney. The same trainer for Koroboff trains um, Stavern. Right? I want you to go back and check. Tell me if I'm talking rubbish or not. But I can't tell you everything, but I'll tell you as much as I can, can, can explain to you. Go back after Stavern lost to Wilder and he had the two years out the year and a half two years out and he, was, he had injury I mean he was almost crippled at one point oh, could hardly beat. walk he was in a wheelchair at one point Stavern did you know that and it's cool. or on crutches so during that time he was out when he made that comeback he was coming back he was going to fight Wilder for the second fight and then they told him to take step aside money Stevens. so and then Luis Ortiz was going to fight Wilder right remember this Luis Ortiz was going to fight Wilder, and Bermain Stavern was due to fight Dominic Brazil. Now, he would, Stavern was trained to fight Dominic Brazil, so he was training for that fight. And the Wilder fight should never have come about. So then you have the situation where, as we know, Luis Ortiz dropped out of the fight. 
And then Stavern was given like a week's notice to fight Wilder. And it was a case of they had to have somebody to save the show or two, three weeks notice. They had to have somebody to save the show because obviously Wilder was due to fight Ortiz. So then Stavern stepped in at the last minute to fight Wilder. That's what happened. Go back and check it. Go back and check it. Because Ortiz failed that uh, drug test. Remember? And that's where Stavern stepped in. Long staff. Stavern was never prepared to fight Wilder for that second fight. You look at the way Stavern came out for that second fight. Slow as anything. Just, just look at the fight. He wasn't, he wasn't ready for that fight. And you look at when he was going to fight. If when he was going to fight uh, Dominic Brazil, it's totally different style to, to Wilder. So they were preparing for Dominic Brazil. So I don't know. Loses his balance and loses the ball. He did have a muscle disorder. He was dehydrated. That is it. The referee That's what I'm saying. Newcastle, a class apart. I'm going to say something about that fight and I'll always stand by it. Right? And you know how I can stand by this? And I've got it on my, I've got it on one of my chat, on my channel. In fact, the great Larry Holmes, see if you can YouTube it, the great Larry Holmes looked at Stavern in the second round of his first fight against Deontay Ward and he said, that man is dehydrated, get some water to him. How can a heavyweight champion in the world be dehydrated? So if he did have a muscle disorder, that's because as, as far as I'm concerned, and I'll always say, he was spiked. But it's interesting because they won't buy it that Stavern was spiked for the Wilder fight. But they will, take, they, they will buy it that Wilder was spiked in the Fury fight. But it's interesting. Remember, if you remember how everyone's talking about Wild, uh, Wilder's uh, chin. Remember they kept saying Wilder has no chin, Wilder's got no chin, the build up of the fight and everything. I remember it well. We'll go into this fight as we are. I remember it well, the whole build up to that fight. It just did, it, it just, things don't add up. I remember the build up to that fight. And I remember calling Stavern and saying to him, you better watch yourself for this fight. When they were promoting the fight, I, I swear no word of a lie. When they were promoting that fight, they had Wilder being promoted and Stavern not being promoted. And Stavern was the champion, the heavyweight champion of the world, and he was be not being he was not being promoted or not being shown. It was all about Wilder, 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 Wilder. The Americans wanted the heavyweight, and Wilder was the heavyweight they were pushing. You understand? They know it means so, much so I'm not, I'm not, I mean, I mean, I remember talking to, to Stavern, um, and it was, you know, when he was in the, when he, when he came back and he got beat by Joe Joyce, do you know what I mean, I, I, like, he came back and he was sitting on his stool, it was just him, in his dressing room, yeah, I said, I love you, brother, man, because it, it, it's, it's not just about, well, he's a boxer, do you know what I mean, he's a human being as well, but, that's if you're not preparing, if you're not preparing yourself properly, and you're not giving yourself the best opportunity, then, you know, whether it be Bermain Stavern or That's Dillian White, or, or Ingram Jones, or whoever it may be, right, ultimately, at the end of the day, if you're not preparing yourself, and giving yourself the best opportunity to win, then you've only got yourself to blame. And, and, you, and in history, you'll go back and think to yourself, I could have given better, I could have done better. Going through. So, I mean, it would be, to me, if you're getting beat by Christopher Lovejoy, I mean, that, that, that's a sheer sign. You need to pack, pack it up. Do you understand? I mean, I hope he's in shape. He's talking he's in shape because he's been telling me that he's in the low 240s. So, I hope he stay. I hope he, Stavern is in the low 240s. I really do. I would like to see him come back and get a devastating knockout over, over Christopher Lovejoy. Which just the idea of seeing Stavern knock Lovejoy out. Getting a win under his sails, you know what I mean? And then he's in in a uh, in the finals. Vinicius Junior. Do you understand? Good take. Hit it! Good first touch and almost as good a second. You know, it'd be nice to see him in a final against him and Trevor Trevor Bryan. Do you understand? And if he could somehow get hold of a WBA belt, 
I mean, that's for him. He, getting that WBA out and retiring would be brilliant. I mean, that'd be great. Because he's a guy that's been totally overlooked. But again, you don't do yourself any favours coming in overweight. You don't do yourself any favours, you know, and he won't do himself any favours getting beat by Christopher Lovejoy, that's for sure. All that stuff he did as an amateur, him beating Ariola. Because hell no, I don't, there's no way Christopher Lovejoy is better than Chris... Go! There's no way uh, Christopher Lovejoy is better than Chris Ariola. Never. So... Fredericks looks to bypass the midfield. Questions were asked. He's on a hide enough and fight logic. If he knocks him out, people will say he's supposed to KO him. Well, no, because if people say he's supposed to KO him, the right they're the same people, remember? The question I ask is this. When Christopher Lovejoy was in, in England to fight Dave Allen, right? Was he in was he in the country to get beat by Dave Allen? Or was he in the was he in the country for Allen? Uh, to, to, for him to beat Allen. That's what I want to know. Because ultimately, check this out. If Lovejoy had be beaten Chris, Dave Allen, what would people have said? Yeah, the scoreline doesn't tell the whole story as one side has been significantly better, at least Listen, Diego Costa has to do something today for me because he ain't. Um, Gaia. Mm, Klein. I take Klein off, bring Williams on. That's too sharp looking. And the second half gets on the way. At least there's always a plus side yeah. to a scoreless half. Defense well, based on based on what I've heard so far about Lovejoy, and well, I call him uh, Christopher Love Lie. That's what his name is. Christopher Love Lie a lot. So it's like a, a change of approach and it may just freshen things up. Oh, come on. I've only seen the pads, it looked worrying. He looked worse than me on the pads. Oh well, I don't know. There are some people in boxing that will say, oh, he's only doing that to make people think, to make, to, so he gets the big fights. But apparently he's looked terrible in sparring. An attacking perspective, Jim, it's a cagey old game. Yeah, I think it's a scoreline in keeping with what we've seen up to this point. Combined attempts at goal aren't high in numbers. It would be nice to see Stavern get a knockout win, you know? I don't understand it as well because, I mean, look at well, Stavern's records. The guys he's fought, he's fought Joe Joyce. Who is no bum? Joe Joyce is no bum, and Deontay Wilder. They're the two guys that beat the Bermains to Vern. What does that? Why does that make him a bum? I don't get it. Dave Allen gets beat by. They've been. He gets beat by Lenroy Thomas. Back into the middle. Hit that. He gets beat by Lenroy Thomas. Right. And somehow, he, you know, he's a superstar. I don't understand. I, I don't get it. And this guy, Stavern, has been a world champion. And he well, beat Chris Ariola. And at the time, Ariola was one of the most dangerous heavyweights in the world. When he beat Ariola. People forget those things. I remember when people were talking about when Stavern was in the UK. For Froch versus... Groves too, and I met Stavern for the first time in London. With people saying, "Oh yeah, Stavern was going to fight David Hay," and everyone's up about that fight. People got a short memory. Oh my God! Nobody can look worse than Ronda Rousey. It's come through. Go! Vinicius Junior. Oh! Oh, nearly. To be fair, his face fits. He's a big, look, a good looking guy. You can see people getting behind me if he beats Dave. If he beats Dave. I don't know if he beats Dave, though. I mean, even though Stavern got beat by, by uh, Joyce, I mean, I think myself, a good in shape Stavern would have given Joyce more problems. But he wasn't just, he wasn't in shape. Not, not in the sort of shape that. Do you know what I mean? 240 pounds, I would like to see him. 240 pounds, lean, fighting that Joyce fight. 
Come on, guys. Let's get this goal, man. Costa's is going to get sacked. Come on, get a goal, someone. Move it. Yeah. Come on, that's it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Goal. Through the middle. Ah, come on. Yeah, come on. Come on. Push it. Go. Long ball. Long ball. They're making life really hard for themselves. Yeah, we've got the creative midfield. And stale makes one, if not for fans, then perhaps for coaches. Satisfied by organisation and solidity. The cutting edge at either end. And it finishes nil nil. Um, do I think Joyce walks into too many shots? Hmm. That's a tough one, you know, because I know people talk about the Dubois fight, yeah? And they were saying Dubois was landing some good shots on Joyce. But for the most part, Joyce was riding those shots. He was pulling his chin out of the way, he was moving his head out of the way at the time. So Joyce's defensive skills are underrated. He does walk into some shots. He walked into a hell of a shot, few shots with, with Stavern. Um But because he wants to get his own shots as well, he was so determined to blast Stavern out of there. I like Joyce. I think, he, I think he can go all the way. I really do. I'm just, I'm just interested to see. I'm going to change his game plan. Definitely. Right. I'm going to let Vinicius go up front. Right, I'm Saint go to the left and bring my boy on to the right, Almer on to the right. Uh, I'm gonna bring Harrington on so we can get some things happening in this game, surely. Okay, forget Costa. Um, let's go, Jolly. Just give Jolly on a chance there. Hendrick, not bad. I'll take him out. Bring Victor Moses, he play right and left. Now, can we beat Man United? I'm going to take Gaia off and let Williams play against... No, actually, don't let Williams play against Man United. That'd be suicidal. Have you seen how he throws a straight right? Oh, dear. I want Joyce to win about. So do I. Disclaimer, I may be moderated, but anything I say doesn't affiliate with the views of WP Media Sports. Ha, <laughs> ha. Well, uh, I think that we could talk about tonight as well. Oh, I forgot to tell you what Uncle Bashir and me were talking about tonight. My gosh. My gosh. We were talking about um, two fights. Aaron Pryor versus a guy called uh, Duan, Duan Johnson. If you get a chance, um, me and Bashir were doing a film study. Now, before Juwan Johnson fought, it, and Juwan Johnson was managed or, or trained by Manu Stewart, managed and trained by Manu Stewart, yeah? This Juwan Johnson, yeah, the last three fights he had, he must have had, the, guy, the guys he fought must have had, like, not on two, loss, not on two losses. Or not on five losses. And something, go box at this guy, Juwan Johnson. And he fought Aaron Pryor. Look at his last three fights. The, the, the three fights he led up to before he fought the unbeaten uh, Aaron Pryor. was 28-0 and 0 at the time. Go and have a look at his record. And you tell me on his resume whether you think he, d d in today's boxing, that would be acceptable. Absolutely disgusting. That was a great fight, though. What happened to the braids? Bro, it's called... It's called... Uh, lockdown. If you haven't <laughs> already gathered, all the barbels are shut. And uh, I could get my aunt to do my hair for me. But I'd have to go to her, her place. And that probably wouldn't work out too well. Because there's too many people who want to... Hey! Hey! That is disgusting. That is absolutely disgusting. Calm, composed, confident, 
Um, yeah, I couldn't get my hair done, so I've just got to keep it like this until I can do something about it. But besides, it's cool, I like it like this. I'm going to say now, I think, I think Josh is going to knock Usyk out. I think Josh is going to knock Alexander Usyk out. I really do. <laughs> Wait, Usyk's fighting at the moment. Manchester United. Break the deadlock. Yeah, this is also a chance to see what happens to their level of concentration from here. Newcastle Come on, guys. We'll get back in this game. game. On a five game away from home. Yeah, we are unbeaten in five games. We can beat, we can beat Man United. We can get back into this game quickly. Come on. Vinicius Come on. Junior. Come on. Looking for the space. Looking for the space. Oh. Oh. Unlucky. That's disgusting how we let him score that goal, though. That's why our defence have to change. Come on, guys. Push it. Push it. Good run. Go on. Go on. Go on. Go on. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. John Joe Shelby. Oh. Yes, ref. Go on, ref. Free kick, free kick, free kick. It's a good area as well. Depends who's going to take it, though. Who's taking it? I need somebody who's got a thunderbolt of a foot on him. Shelby, can he do it? I think he can do it from there, you know. He's going to flick one, Shelby. He's going to flick one. He's going to flick one. Oh, come on, Shelby. Corner. corner whip the ball get the goal come on John Joe Shelby with the short one opportunity oh corner good delivery almost the perfect outcome well plenty of moving targets to put down in the box obviously come on guys let's go again let's go again come on come on come on come on corner come on nice ball in the box hit it hit it hit it just get it back in the box. What are you doing? Back in the box. Really Taking too it. long. It's nice. Fun. Nice. Through ball. Yes, come on. Come on, Kondogbia. Nice. Oh, come on. Nice. You're playing around too much. Jeffrey Kondogbia. Ah, guys are taking the mickey. Right, let's make the changes here. Shelby off. I'm going to bring an attacking midfielder. I'm going to take Kondogby off. I'm going for this. I think I'm going to go for this. I'm just take the chance and throw. Uh oh, no, 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 no. Doing. Bring Jolly on. That's it. Can't make him captain. Don't be silly. Who can we put as captain? Maybe I don't know. Klein as captain, maybe. My last shells can be captain. That's it. Sorry, kitchen sink up. Use it to observe and continue against Delboy. I've lost faith in Usyk to be honest. He needs to come in light and focus on fighting in inside fighting to give Joshua any problems. Why are they playing sideways? He fights like a big man. That is his issue at heavyweight. I wonder what his plan is. I thought he came up for the Joshua fight and to cash out to be honest. I don't know. Sideways. Come on, guys. We get this second goal. We get a goal. That'll be the draw. Come on. I've pushed. I've brought the attacking youngster on. He's my youth player I've brought on to play. So, hope he can do something for us. His name's Harrington. Bruno Fernandes. 
And I brought... Uh-oh. Tackle. Go on. Go on, Vincentis. Get him in. Get him into the game. Ah, come on. Could give the Brazilian a chance at least, man. Tackle. Good there. Bissaka's. I, I can't believe Bissaka scored that goal against us. No, come on, no, 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 tackle, no goal, go on Harrington, go on Junior, through ball, through ball, through ball, come on, He's playing the fool at the moment, come on guy, let's see something from you, Harrington, nice ball Harrington, come at Almiron, oh nice play, and it's played forward. We need the ball Splash. through the middle, man. They're gonna split us. They're gonna split us. Get a tackle. And Decent progress down the left. Close him off. Waiting in the middle. What are you doing? Just let the keeper take the ball, man. <sighs> we'll have to see him against Wilder to us. We'll also talk about bridge weight. The bridge weight is gonna be an exciting division. Think about all the fighters who could fight in that bridge weight division. Usyk could potentially fight in a bridge weight division. Wilder could fight in a bridge weight division. Bredis could fight in a bridge weight division. Bright Jennings, Rivas. There's a lot of guys who could fight in that bridge weight division. Lebedev, well not Lebedev. What's his name? Doctor Hus could fight in, in the in the bridge weight division. Think about all the fighters that could fight in the bridgeway and you know what do you know i think he's going to come back and fight in that bridgeway division i think tony belly's going to come back i think jesus christ yeah well look who was that 36 Come on, let's get a goal here. Come on, push it. Goal, 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 goal. Oh, what a goal. That's what you should have done earlier. Come on, boys. That's the answer we're looking for. He picked his spot expertly. Great goal, Charlie. The effort went in at the widest possible point off the upright. Nothing he could do. Still a chance, guys. Still a chance. Look at the ball. That's it. Why couldn't we have done that early on? What a goal. It's broken the net. Why couldn't we have done this earlier on? This is the through ball I was asking for all the time. Bang! What a goal, though. Come and see if we can get that second goal, boys. We have got ourselves a game here. Come on! And they've done so well to get back in it, but it's important now that they don't become over eager in chasing another. They only need one more chance. Patience is key. Should never let that goal go in. The f get on that. Fight for it. Fight for it now. Come on! A slack. Da. A really good feat from him. Can Make that tackle. Oh, yeah. Again, tackle. No. Referee has seen that as a dive. Good. That James, isn't it? Is that Daniel games. James? I bet it's Daniel it was James. Peter, but it was Come on. He's got no Push it. Pace. Big kick. Got three minutes. The Man United time. Go on. Push it up there. Go on. Go. On. Be brave. Got what's guy doing? Push it up there. Through ball. On their side when it's, it's fast Come on. Out. Yes. Go on. Go on. Go on. And it's Clyde. And Come on, Clyde. Glued to his feet. Come on. Come on. Come on. Ah, you poor oh, shit. And that's it. He has ended in disappointment. Defeats and back to the drawing board.
if you summarise what we've seen today then Jim yeah definitely be disappointed with the loss, but Tony Bellew could come back but the thing with Tony Bellew is when he was WBC champion he didn't want any piece of Usyk like, not Usyk what's his name I think Breedis was in, who was his mandatory and he didn't want any piece of that mandatory then he suddenly went into a type oh he went up to him who was it who was meant to be is mandatory. You know the guy who I want to see, I keep seeing, is Marius Breedis. I think he could become heavyweight champion of the world. Oh, yes. One more game. I don't think I'm going to watch this game. Let's see what else we can sell. Darlow. Clark. Shah. Mm, I didn't want to sell him. Keepers clean. Who else can go? Okay. Almiron's not going nowhere. Whole bunch of guys are leaving the club now. You know what? I just want to forward this game. Skip the match. I don't care if we lose to flipping Leicester City. Good. We got the draw. That's good. Still for third. See, we're third in the table. We've got some catching up to do, but second half of the season, I think we'll do well. That's what I'm saying to you. He'll be back. I think. I think. I think Tony Bailey's coming back. You know, Chisora can't keep his mouth shut. Two-two. Another draw. He'll come back. I think he'll Tony Bell will come back. One more day to one more game to play, and then we've got the transfer window opens. We haven't got much money to play with because spent already. I've invested with the little money I had. I invested. Who we got now? Evan. Ah, uh, it's a derby in it, man. If we can get a draw against Everton, that's all I care. No, 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 I don't want to see the Everton game. I don't want to see the Everton game. Forget the Everton game. Skip match. They beat us, they beat us. Ah, I don't care. I just want to get the transfer window. Oh, we've dropped to fifth. That's all right. Yeah. The Macabu matchup, when he, when he was weighing like 15 and a half stone against Macabu, he was weighing like a heavyweight, Macabu was like 14 stone. Do you remember that? Or you didn't remember that? Darlow, Clark, yep. All the guys are leaving the club, man. 